this is the first case of criminalizing a family member for uh, the risk that he has to put his children in order to come here and uh, make their application for asylum. This is the first time that this is uh, happening and this is one more obstacle uh, in their effort to seek asylum in Europe. It's something that can apply in all uh, families that are, are arriving in Greece. In Greece of 2020, when we have the systematically uh, pushback uh, policy, then you put one more obstacle. Even if you arrive, we will criminalize you, we will make you stuck here in the island forever. Especially the last two or three years, uh, when the Turkish partners understood that uh, if they bring them here with their dire and they are arrested, uh, the penalties are very big. So they start uh, sending them along or uh, saying you are the driver, even though that in some cases it's obvious that he's not a smuggler or part of the group of the smugglers, but it's one of the refugees. What the authorities do is they charge them for uh, driving the boat. They can't understand why, because they are part of the group. The whole group is left uh, free and they are one person each time, they end up in prison. This, uh, accused as a smuggler had his disabled mother with him, his sister and his brother. If you are a smuggler or if you are doing something illegal, you don't take your whole family to do it. And also the testimony is coming from his sister, saying that yes, when we were in distress, my brother had to try to help us. And the penalties are starting from five years per person, and when there is a death, it's a life sentence. By doing this, we criminalize asylum seekers that they have nothing else to do. The only thing they can do is to drive the boat.